Hello, my name is James Nesbitt, and I'd like to welcome you to our world, the world of prophetic art. And uh, you know, we're all born with gifts, actually some with many gifts. Uh, people always ask me, uh, well, when did you begin drawing or painting? And I said, from when I was a little boy. Uh, actually, my uncle, he had a notebook where he was drawing horses, and I saw that and was just captivated by it. And so I guess that sparked something within me that Father had planted before the foundation of the world. And so that's when I began. And then my journey has been uh, from there. I do remember though, uh, when I was a young man, uh, there was Kroger grocery store and they had a encyclopedias once a week. Uh, it was called the Golden Book Encyclopedia. And I couldn't wait to get the next one because they were beautiful collages of art on the front of them. And so, like they were a dollar a piece, and so each week my mom would buy me one, and I would just be uh, engrossed in, the, in those books and the beauty of them. Lo and behold, though, my artwork turned out to be kind of like those books where a lot of things are hidden that you have to look for in the artwork. I enjoy hiding things on purpose for people to have to search out. So we all have our journey, and, and mine, one of my heroes was always uh, Norman Rockwell. I, I wanted to be like him. Uh, but when I went to university, uh, that was he wasn't in vogue at that time, and so the professors laughed at me, kind of, and wanted me to move into a different direction. In my first year, of, of a, they had a, a printmaker, and he was an erotic artist, and so before I knew it, by the end of that semester, my artwork had been totally twisted uh, uh, into an erotic uh, kind of thing. When you don't know who you are and you go to university, they're excellent at shaping you into who they want you to be. And so my artwork became twisted by the time I was about 18, uh, and I would even sign it Tibbs and Smodge, which is James Nesbitt backwards. Remember I said that we're all gifted by the Lord and our gifts have a purpose and that's to bring glory to the Lord who made us. But the enemy, I think, takes the greatest pleasure in taking the gift of someone and turning it backwards, stealing it from its use to magnify and glorify the Lord and, and magnify His kingdom and power His kingdom with our gifts. So for 10 years, that was my, my lot in life. I served uh, darkness with my gift and uh, and so uh, at one point, uh, I, was, uh, I gave a gift uh, of, of Satan that I drew, uh, painted to an intercessor's son. And so she said, we're not having this. His name's going in the cup. And so they have a small prayer team there and they put my name in a cup and they called me out of darkness and called me into light. I didn't even know that they had prayed that prayer, but that prayer began to work in my life. And so lo and behold, within sight of three months, uh, I had been uh, born again uh, and Father had visited me. And, and so then I found out that I wasn't Tibbs and Smodge, I was James Nesbitt. I'm not turned backwards anymore. And so when I found out who I really was, I went and destroyed a lot of the artwork that I had created because it was not fit to represent me or my family line in the earth. And so that's how my journey began. And so. I spend my days now, I'm also a minister, and, and so even the artwork that I do, prophetic art, is uh, born out of uh, intercession and prayer. You know, uh, mine is actually in Habakkuk 2 assignment, where uh, Habakkuk 2 says, for the Lord told Habakkuk, you stand your post and you watch, and what I show you, you write down and, and make it plain so that the people can run with the vision that I have for them for the vision will surely come and it will not tarry. And every artist uh, has to contend with and overcome fear. At one point, I was so fearful that I drew a picture of a dragon and hung the dragon on my wall and I named it Fear. And so fear lived in my bedroom with me until I got delivered from fear. Uh, so if you're fearful in any measure, you have agreed with fear somewhere along the line and allowed it to walk with you. And so what I do now, once you're delivered from fear, you are a deliverer of those who are in fear. And so I would ask you, if you're watching this and fear is tormenting you, for you to agree with me that you are not in covenant with fear or in agreement with it, you break that 
by your own words, and then you say, I am in covenant with the living God, and I ask his perfect love to come into my life and cast out all fear that I has been walking with me. And so that will set you free in multiple ways to, to do artwork at a other level. Once I got born again, I got born again in 1982, and uh, a, prophe a prophecy came to me not long after that the Lord was gonna take my artwork around the world. You know, uh, I was hoping that would hap happen the next day, excuse me, but it didn't happen the next day. It took 25 years. But the Lord is faithful to his promise and now my artwork by his grace is around the world and I'm grateful for that. And so whatever his prophetic promise is to you, he's faithful to a promise. So write the vision down uh, and for it'll surely come to pass. And uh, I hope that uh, the art that we are, have been blessed to deliver uh, helps give you a grace somewhere. In the old days, in the time of the great painters, they would go outside and set their easel up and they would paint the glory of the Lord on the outside and bring it into their homes to, so it could bless their homes. But what prophetic artists do, Luke 17, 21 says that the kingdom of heaven is within us. So what we do is we take the kingdom that is within, what we see within, and we bring it out so that people can see the beauty of the Lord and the living kingdom that is within us. So that's why I've started this series that we're gonna do on the YouTube or wherever else the Lord has the videos to go. We're just making videos and trust Him to send them where He needs to. But we wanna explain uh, imagery that I create so that it might be uh, not, not, uh, it might be a little bit difficult for some to connect with because they don't know uh, what the imagery and the symbology means. And so we are part of this video series that we're doing is, is to help you and help others see the kingdom that's alive and well on the inside. So uh, again, I'm James Nesbitt, and we're gonna do, uh, go through our, our galleries and explain this is what was happening with that piece, and this is the story behind that one, and, and those kinds of things. So welcome to our world. Lord bless you.